If you're a Sonic fan, you probably remember waking up one beautiful day in 2019, all excited for the new movie trailer, just to be met with this. So I thought I'd bring back some of those repressed memories of yours today and make Ugly Sonic a reality. I'll start by making an armature for his body with wire. I considered making a really cool Sonic sculpture at first, but then decided making the cursed version would be a lot more fun. And this way, I can ruin a bunch of people's day as well. The wire gets covered with Sculpey Bacon Bond that will help the clay stick to the armature. And then I'll start building up his body with cos clay. Sonic's actual design is pretty human-like, but the proportions are still very cartoonish and unrealistic. For the movie version though, they really try to make him look as human as possible for some reason. So I'm also going to make the body look like a very slim human. Sonic has very big cartoonish shoes, but of course for this design, they gave him regular sneakers and long feet. I tried to make his feet look unproportionately big, but I didn't do it justice here. They should have been even longer. And then I'll shape his shoes into the most basic sports sneakers. I rolled out a very thin piece of clay and added it on for the shoelaces. Of course, to maximize your uncomfort, this design also doesn't have any gloves, just two hairy human hands. To make the fur texture, I'll go over the whole thing with a silicone tool. And at this point, it really does look like it might as well just be a human in a fursuit. Now it's finally time to make his beautiful face. I'll start by attaching a big head and adding a few spikes to it. and those get blended into the rest of the head. He should have some spikes on his back as well, but I forgot and now he looks even more human. I'll add some clay on the front of his face to mold his little snout and brow ridge. And add the worst design choice, which is these very small human-sized eyes. Funny thing is, I've been looking at this old design for so long while working on the sculpture that it has started to look normal to me. He also gets ears and then I'll add more clay around his mouth to define his lips, because obviously he needs lips like all humans. I wanted to do the sonic pointing pose, but instead of a smirk, make it with a teeth smile to really show off his human teeth. But now it just looks like he's pointing and laughing at you for having to endure his existence. <laughs> Lastly, his face also gets covered with fur texture. I think I made his face a bit too chubby, so he looks more youthful than he should, since we are actually going for the 40-year-old local drunk Sonic. And I'll go over everything with isopropyl alcohol to smooth out any imperfections. I went over his face many times, but nothing changed. Weird. After baking, I'll paint him all blue and then go over it with a lighter dry brush to bring out the fur texture. Then he gets a beard, Homer Simpson style. and I'll paint on the rest of his facial details. I didn't like how the teeth turned out and I got some blue paint on them, so I later actually cut them out and replaced them with a new set. I thought about making the teeth very dirty and gross, but then decided not to turn them into a total crackhead. And I covered his eyes with UV resin to make them nice and sparkly. For some reason, they also decided to make his snout beige, but his chest and arms white, which just makes it look like he actually has a beard. 
and the white is more grey as well, just making him look kind of dirty. Maybe they thought they could relate to us stinky gamers like this, like hey, I don't shower either. Then his sneakers get painted red, and I'll paint the shoelaces with a bit darker red color. For the base, I'll use a piece of foam that I'll sand into a nice square. Then I'll map out some smaller squares on the side and cut them in. The base gets painted a dark yellow, and then I'll paint every other square a darker brown, like in the games. This took way longer than I wanted, mostly because all my brushes are old and ruined, so there's always some stray brush hairs sabotaging the paint job. Then I'll cover the top with Mad Mod Podge and sprinkle on fake grass. I also added a bit of grass over the top part of the sides. Then Sonic gets hot glued in place. And I'll place some metal rings on the base as well. And that's it! I'd like to thank these people over on Patreon who helped make this monstrosity into a reality, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!